Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saver CNC. Around here they call me Router Bob. In this video, we're going to make a sign for our Talk and Shop podcast studio. Let me show you how to get this started. Part of the process of marketing our Talking Shop podcasters, of course, was to develop a logo. So we want to take this logo in this video and turn it into a V-carve sign. Now, I'm going to need some sign foam, and I'm going to need some paint, and I'm going to need some tools. So let's go talk to CNC Sean to see if we've got those materials available. Hey, Sean, the marketing group created a really nice logo for our Talk and Shop podcast. Yep. They need a sign to hang in the studio. Have we got any material to make that out of? You know, when you did that American Flag project, I know we've got some sign foam left over from that. That would be perfect, and we can probably get the painters to paint that shop saving blue flag. I like that idea. You know, when we carve that out, the contrast would be perfect. That will be perfect. Okay, I'll go create the files that you'll need to machine it. I'll go talk to the guys about painting it. Great. In this case, we're going to V-carve this sign, and we're going to do it in V-carve Pro. But you have to start somewhere. In our case, we're starting with a bitmap graphic. Now, what that means is there's no lines in it. Now, some of the graphic formats have vectors, and so vectors are lines, and so you can actually see the lines. This one doesn't. So the first thing we want to do in V-carve Pro is actually to create those. So we select it, and we hit the little bird here. And we, here's what happens. You start picking these, and you see these start to cleaning up a little bit. Looking better, looking better. It's getting more detail. It's getting more detail. Looking good. And then when you get to the final one, it washes out, so you turn that off. All right? That looks good. Then I'm going to preview it. And I'm going to say apply. And close. Now we should have our graphics. Let's take a look. Now once we turn the layer off that has the bitmap, this is what we've gotten. And so then it's a matter then of, of actually going in and cleaning everything up. And I'll, I'll show you how you do that. First thing, we'll ungroup that. Doo -doo. And if you'll if you just take a letter like that and go to the note editor, you can tell how it looks. You can smooth it out. That looks pretty good, but if you find something that's got a, a curve or something that's not right, you can go in there and tweak that a little bit. So that's really your, your next step is to is to clean it up. Sometimes that's a real easy job. Sometimes that's a big job. But in our case, th this one looks pretty good, so it's a pretty good start. The key is contrast. So the better contrast you have on that uh, graphic, the easier this is. All right. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, once I get it cleaned up, then I have to size it and come up with exactly what I want. So this is what I came up with. So this is the final uh, final drawing. It's, we, we made some modifications, and we finally got a logo we really like. Now, let's talk about what we do next in order to apply tool pass. All right now, let's look at the tool pass and what we did. So if you see, there's setup. Now, setup we're not actually going to run. Setup... I create that to basically figure out where to put the blank on the table, so we won't really output that tool path. But I've got a series of V-carve tool paths, so we'll click those in. You'll start seeing them. In fact, if we do this, kind of shows what's happening. And then the two outside tool paths, to, or to cut it out. All right, so that's how that works now, but it's it's not as complicated as it looks. All right, so I'm going to open up one of these V-carve tool paths, and let's look at the tooling. Okay, so basically we're telling it the flat depth is this. So we're going to make the, the depth of the 3D stuff uh, 0.2188. We're using a 90-degree V-bit, and it's a uh, half-inch diameter. But I'm using two other clearance tools. I'm using a quarter inch down shear and also uh, an eighth inch up shear. Now the reason we do that is to just to make it simpler. When you, as you get into some of these drawings that have real tight corners, it just takes a smaller tool. And so VCar Pro lets you combine that into one tool path. Now here's what happens. 
when you output that, you see VCARV1 clear 1, VCARV1 clear 2. Well, that means is it used two different tools. And so those are two separate tool paths. Okay, here's VCARV, uh, there's VCARV uh, 4 clear 1, VCARV 4 clear 2. So you see that as you go down through here, that's why you're seeing these multiple tools. But now, what we do before we actually output is we get these in order. So clear ones is, a, is a, the same tool. So we group all the clear ones together, all the clear twos, and that way we don't get so many tool changes. So that's basically how you do it. Now let's look at the simulation and see what actually happens. V carving is really, really almost magic. Almost everybody wants to make a sign, so let's just start out. Let's just preview visible tool pass. Actually, let's preview all tool pass. And that's really all it takes. So in our case, our, our blank already has the outside cut, so all we really have to do is output uh, the center ones here. So when we output, we won't output setup and we won't output those two at the bottom. But that's all it takes. So it's really it's really simple. Uh, there's It takes more work to get the graphic ready than anything else. Now, so what we'll do next is select the tools that we want to output. Okay, we want to do these. The setup we don't. We want to do this one. That's all the files. I come over here and I say generate code, save toolpath, and then I can name it whatever I want. Hit save. Now let's send this out to CNC Sean. Hey Sean. Hey router Bob. I just finished looking at the files you sent me. Boy, that sign is going to look great. That's wonderful. Well, that completes part one of our talking shop sign video. If you want to see part two, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. And be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching.